Oh, Dan, it's Brian Lee with you once again for exciting high school basketball from the 15th region. Uh, tonight, two excellent teams here. The uh, Belfry Lady Pirates are hosting the uh, Sheldon Clark Lady Cardinals. And, uh, Danny, this should be uh, very interesting here. They, they tell us a lot about, about where we stand in the region. You sure will. These are two, in my opinion, two of the best teams in the 15th region uh, among girls play. You've got to always consider Pike County Central when you're talking about 15th region and, and girls' action. You got to consider the Phelps Hornet or Lady Hornets, you know, and, and Johnson Central Lady Eagles. But I tell you what, these two teams right here, I believe the region is going to have to go through uh, one of these two teams. Uh, you may want to throw a Pike Central into that mix. But uh, 11 and 4 Belfry Pirates will host tonight the uh, 10 and 6 Sheldon Clark Lady Cardinals and uh, coached by Robin Harmon Newsom over there at Sheldon Clark. Cindy Hobart, the coach at uh, Belfry, but you take a look at uh, what Robin Harmon's done over the years over there at, uh, well, Robin Newsom now, but uh, what she's done over there over the years at Inez and, and the Sheldon Clark program, she's had a missed basketball play for her over there out of Bowen several years ago, and just always, always builds a competitive team. You might find a team that will fight any, you know, that, that uh, will out-hustle this team. Very fundamentally sound, and, uh, you know, look for tonight, big game from uh, sophomore uh, Mandy Harmon. You take a look at the uh, Belfry Pirates, uh, Lady Pirates here. You got uh, freshman Romanda Music, uh, you know, Ashley Rosen, Tanya Francis, uh, Jessica Lovell. You know, you go on and on and on, but you got a lot of talent on this uh, Lady Pirate team. And, you know, Ken, this should really be a, uh, really be a good battle here tonight. Yes, it should. Uh, I was unaware until a couple of weeks ago of uh, how, how good this Sheldon Clark team is. Uh, Shelby Valley is another team that has been mentioned in there with the Pike Centrals and the uh, Belfries as, as one of the top teams in the region. And uh, Sheldon Clark beat the Shelby Valley Wildcats uh, 82 to 48, I believe. Just, just phenomenal. I mean, uh, uh, and, and you know that's just that shows you the the type of. Now they they've got t they've got six losses, but you got to keep in mind some of the teams they've played. They've been uh, downstate, uh, played some tournaments in Lexington very very tough demanding schedule and that's Robin you know that's that's uh, a testament to coach Newsom here uh, for these lady cards because uh, she wants her team ready come tournament time and uh, you do not want to face this this team uh, when it's sudden death I mean I'm uh, they're certainly beatable obviously they've got six losses but I'm gonna tell you something you will know you've been in a war when you go up against them um. Speaking of that, being in the, the tough games and, and playing teams down in the state, Coach uh, Cindy Halbert took her team to uh, West Virginia, played in the uh, tournament over in Huntington. Over in Huntington, and, won, that and tournament. won that tournament against some very good ball teams. Uh, uh, beat Huntington High School there and beat, a, a, I forgot the name of the school, but it was a consolidation of, of three very good schools. And, uh, and she was telling me before the game that it was really tough to go over there and win the. Uh, uh, on that other team's home court and uh, in their own tournament and especially being from another state and, uh, and of course you and i you know we know we saw a game in west virginia last week and and the officiating somewhat different and uh, mm -hmm. a lot to face but they Belf this belfry team went over there and came away with that tournament victory so we're going to take a short break right now and we'll be back here with exciting high school basketball this is your intermountain sports network Fully wireless sensors mean easy installation without damage from drilling. One app gives you total control over every aspect of your home. The ultimate deterrent for porch pirates. Know exactly when you receive a delivery. You need security that is a fully integrated security solution. Encrypted end-to-end -end and professionally monitored. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. Come see the lineup of all new 2021 Harleys at Mineshaft Harley Davidson in Pikeville. In Hall, Danny Van Hoos and Brian Lee with you now at Belfry High School as we're ready to get this game underway here. The Belfry Pirates hosting the Sheldon Clark Cardinals. And uh, let's see. Step, well, 
Melky's going to have Tanya Francis jumping against uh, Nikki Copeland and Sheldon Clark. I'm looking forward to this one, Ken. This should really be a battle. Yes, it should. Two excellent teams. And Belfry controls the kick. Jessica Lovell out there with it, the tight head of the key. Hackney puts it up. Quick shot by Hackney. No good, and rebounded by Robbie Presley. She gets it in the front court to Mandy Harmon. Harmon uh, averaging 23 points a game, Ken. Last year as a freshman, she was third in the state in scoring, so it's a pretty big game there for Mandy Harmon. And, and Robbie Presley uh, continues to dribble it around out there and calls for five sec a five-second count, and she was guarded closely by Jessica Lovell. Lovell in the front court now for Belfry. Amanda Music. Underneath to Ashley Rosen. She takes it to the goal, puts it up and in. And the ball's inbounded. Up near midcourt into front court to Robbie Presley. Presley now down on the right side to Copeland. Nikki Copeland drives to the goal. Gives it back out. There's Harmon with it underneath. Hits put up and in by Lauren Burke. Nice shot under there in heavy traffic by Burke. Good job to get that one in there by Harmon. So underneath from Amanda Music puts it up and no good. Knocked out of bounds by Ashley Rosen. And the ball will go over to Sheldon Clark because we're all tied up at two. Talking with Coach Newsom down here for Sheldon Clark. You know, she's uh, expecting her second child, Ken, any day. And as a matter of fact, on Friday, they will be inducing labor if she doesn't have it before then. So, so we might have a new uh, Cardinal before this game's over. <laughs> well, let's hope she can wait until she gets home anyway. Yeah, let's hope so. Driving the baseline is Harmon. She puts it up. No good. Gets her own rebound. Back out to Copeland. Copeland gives it over to Presley. This is Robbie Presley. Janie Castle gets it in the corner to Harmon back out, and it's fired up. No good by Copeland. Amanda Music with the rebound. In the front court quickly is Jessica Lovell. She backs it out now. Goes over to Tanya Francis. Ashley Rosen drives into the lane. All the way under, puts it up, no good. Rosen gets her own rebound, puts it up and in. Ashley Rosen, she has all four points for Belfry. They lead four to two now. Copeland in the front court. Over to Joni Castle. Joni across to Robbie Presley with the ball now. Robbie backs it out. Goes here to Mandy Harmon. Harmon and Presley playing pass and catch. Presley drives now. Gets it over in the corner to Harmon. She fires up a long shot and no good. This is a three-point three attempt there, Ken. We watched Harmon in uh, in the warm-ups there, and she was knocking them down left and right. So quite a shooter. I'm impressed by oh. this Belfry's team's patience in the half-court offense as uh, last couple of trips down, Ken. They've really showed a lot of patience. Yes, they have. Nice pass underneath. It's put up and in by Sam Hackney. Six to two now, Buffy on top. Copeland in the front court and throws it over to Anita Harless and it goes right through her hands. In the front court, the Pirates. Sam Hackney drives, passes it under the music. She tries to go back inside, and it's knocked away, tied up, and the possession area belongs to Sheldon Clark. 4.32 remaining here in the first quarter with uh, Belfry leading 6-2. And down to the pressing. She gets it back to Colton, and then front court to Harmon on the left side. And this is Harmon with it. Presley with the ball out front. 
Nikki Copeland with the ball now. She goes in the right corner, Nick passed underneath. And we have a foul. I think it's going to be against Rosen. No check there, it's against Hackney. Samantha Hackney picks up her first foul. Ball comes into Harmon. Long pass out to Castle. And back to Preston. Castle on the left. Copeland with it now. Almost stolen there by Lovell. Good hustle. Here's Harmon. Back to Preston. Bounced underneath. Um, Three turnovers now for the Lady Cards. Lovell all the way down. It's no good and pulled off there by Nikki Colton. Mm, two on one here and not a good pass there from Harmon, but she gets the rebound off the castle miss. And this foul is against them, Ashley Rose. Going to put Mandy Harmon on the line. Shooting two. First shot is up and good. Harmon's second shot is good. Belfry six, Sheldon Clark four. Three minutes and 20 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. Lovell drives down the right side. Goes underneath the music and beautiful music pass. Up and in. Lovell up with a nice pass. In the press, she's double teamed in the corner. And Lovell will be called for the foul. Copeland in the home. She brings it in the front court. Back to Copeland. All the way down the lane. Stop. Puts it up. No good, but she's fouled. That's going to be two quick ones on Ashley Rosen. That's uh, enough to get uh, Nikki McCoy up off the bench for the Lady Pirates, and I'd say she'll replace Rosen. She has to wait until the first foul shot is. Shot. Nikki Copeland at the line, shooting two. And she hits the first one. Lady Pirates give up a lot in size underneath if it, with that substitution, Ken. Let's see. Music with the rebound. It's Belfry now leads eight to five. There's a shot put up. No good. And Sam Hackney, big battle underneath. This is Lovell with it. Underneath the music. She turns and puts it up. No good. A strong rebound in there by Tanya Francis. She's fouled as she tries to go up with it. And the first foul against Sheldon Clark. That's against Robbie Presley. Kelly Hinkle checks in for Sheldon Clark. Sam Hackney to inbound the ball. Throws it out high. It was McCoy with it. Over to Lover. Nikki McCoy, she fires it up. No good. And taken away in there by Kelly Hickman, and she's fouled. Five team fouls now. We've got 222 to go first period against the Lady Pirates. And then good job. Stolen and put up and in by Tanya Francis. Super job. 
Herman in the corner, throws it out, it's knocked away. And coming away with it is Nikki McCoy. She gets it back to Lovell. Lovell loses it off of her foot. Big scramble for the ball, and that's out of bounds off of Nikki McCoy of Belfry. Good hustle in there by Mandy Harmon trying to make up for that uh, errant pass. Long pass up court to Harmon. She drives, pulls up from about 10. No good. Music with the rebound, loses it off of her foot, but it's recovered there by McCoy. And she gets it off to level. Jessica Lovell in the front court now. Belfry leading 10 to 5 with 1 minute and 42 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. Lovell around the right side, puts up the short jumper, no good. And coming out there with it is Kelly Hickle. She throws it away. Jessica Lovell with the ball. All the way down the lane, passes it off to Music. She loses it. <coughs> And the ball will stay with Belfry. Hackney throws it out long to Lovell. McCoy with it now. She takes the 12 footer. No good. Knocked over in the corner and picked up there by Nikki Copeland. Long pass ahead to Hinkle. And she gets it back to Preston. Copeland in the corner. Back to Presley. Harmon with it now. Presley. Harmon drives, drives the baseline underneath the goal, puts it up, and good. Beautiful drive by Mandy Harmon. If she gets her first field goal, you know it'd only be a matter of time to see the Bucks loose. Started scoring here, one of the leading scorers in the state as a sophomore. What is it, Dan? Over 23 points a game? 20, 23 points a game. And uh, her last game, that's a nice shot there by Tanya Francis. Tanya Francis playing really well in this first quarter. But uh, Harmon's last game uh, this past weekend against Paintsville, uh, she scored 38. So she can rack up some points in a hurry on you. Yep. This Buffery team, very talented. Yes, they are from top to bottom. Two on Hinkle, one. And the ball is kicked by Music. Not a good choice there by Hinkle. Uh, that bounce pass at the feet there, but uh, she had a two on one. Maybe could have drawn the defender just a little bit more to open up the passing lane, Ken. Here's Hinkle putting it up. No good. And knocked out of bounds by Anita Harless. We have 10 seconds remaining now in the first quarter. Belfry leading 12 to seven. Sheldon Clark probably would have been better off for taking the last shot, but they definitely would have been as Tanya Francis comes down and nails a long three-pointer. So at the end of one quarter, your score, Belfry 15, Sheldon Clark seven. We'll be right back. This is your Intermountain Sports Network. When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, social security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. Use your smart home speaker to arm and disarm the system. A full line of cameras for both indoor and outdoor areas. So you can keep an eye on your property no matter where you are. Get an early alert for water leaks before you lose thousands of dollars to expensive flood damage. One easy to use interface for your phone and the slimline touchpad. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. After high school, where it's, we're ready to start second quarter action. The Belfry Lady Pirates have, jump, have jumped out on top here, 15 to seven after one quarter over Sheldon Clark Cardinals. Belfry yeah. with the ball. And a beautiful shot from about 17 feet there by Nikki McCoy. Sheldon, uh, Belfry's just absolutely dominating this game right now, Ken. 
Beautiful drive by Kelly Hinkle. She takes it all the way to the goal, puts it up and in. 17 to nine now. As Lovell brings it into front court. This is Hackney back to Lovell. McCoy, music takes it inside, backs it out, and it's taken Lovell. away by Mandy Harmon. He drives all the way down, spins, puts it up, no good, but she's fouled. It's going to be two against Hackney. Nice job there by Harmon. Came away with the steal, took it all the way down, made a nice spin move, drew the foul. And she hits the free throw. Second shot, up and in. It's now Belfie 17, Sheldon Clark 11. Seven minutes remaining here in the first half. And Good defense. Steal. Almost a steal. Lovell hangs on to it, and she's fouled. It's going to be against Castle, I think. No? I've not got a one right yet. That's against Copeland. <laughs> <laughs> the reaction from Castle, I thought he'd pointed at her. I believe she thought the same thing you did. Lovell up to Francis. Francis drives, puts it up. Beautiful shot by Tanya Francis. That's how, not, how many points? That's nine have? of the 19 for uh, Belfry from Tanya Francis. Long pass. Good job there by Harless to save the ball. Anita Harless. Harmon backs it out now. Goes over on the right to Copeland. Back to Harmon. Copeland in the corner. Gives it to Harless. Harmon drives to the right side. Harless open from the free throw line. He's partially blocked, Blocked, I think, by Tanya Francis. Tanya Francis. Boy, she is playing She's a great She's had a game. super game here so far. Yes, she has. Six minutes to go in the first half. 1911, Belfry. The level down the lane quickly. It's no good. And Harmon down court with it, takes it underneath, puts it up, no good. Harmon, strong rebound, follows it up, puts it in. Great job by Mandy Harmon. Good hustle there by Harmon. Belfry 19, Sheldon Clark 13 now. There's a three put up, no good by Hackney. And knocked out of bounds by Nikki Copeland. Tanya Francis goes out, gets a well-deserved rest. Presley checks back into the game and replaces Copeland. Lovell with the ball now. He drives, has it knocked away. Good job there by Anita Harless slapping that one away as Lovell had a clear lane, Ken. Want to save the layup there. Lovell, having trouble, finally gets it in. And it's put up and no good by uh, Heather Witt, who had just checked in the game. Presley in the front court now. To Castle, Johnny Castle, back to Presley. Harless with it now. And Three. Three put up by Castle and just off, but Harmon there for another rebound. Beautiful, Beautiful defeat, give and go. Mandy Harmon to Anita Harless and back to Harmon as she drove the baseline, laid it up and in. Harmon has 10 of the Lady Cards 15 now. Hackney fires up a three. No good. Harless loses it off of his foot. Crowd getting a little fired up here again. Fired up. I don't think they <laughs> like that call, but the ball did uh, hit the Harness's foot. Well, you go tell them. <laughs> I'll tell them. <laughs> Look at the fear in my eye. Yeah. <laughs> Here's Lovell with the ball. 
Impressed by Jessica Lovell as a ball handler, Ken. He is. An excellent job. Tanya Francis got back in here in a hurry now. She only sat out a few seconds. Lovell takes it on, on, down on the baseline. Ashley Rosen back in, takes it to the goal. It comes off of there. Amanda Music, a strong rebound. Her shot's no good. And good job by Harley. Kelly Hinkle ahead to Castle. She puts it up and in. Joni Castle. It's now two-point game, 19-17. Here goes Lovell down quickly. She backs it out, drives again, stops, and Harmon will be called for the foul. Sheldon Clark on a 10-2 run here. Cut the lead. Cuts that 10-point uh, lead all the way down to two. And in a hurry. Jessica Lovell shooting two. Too strong. Check Jessica's like our cameraman there, Brian Lee. Just too strong for her own good. Just, just powerhouse. <laughs> And this one's up and in. Presley with the ball now. Over to Hinkle and in front court to Harless. Back to Presley. Harmon on the right side. Presley. And bad nice. pass there by Presley. She's Good job there by Nikki McCoy of Belfry to uh, anticipate that. Presley out to Hinkle, Kelly Hinkle. This is Anita Harless. She drives down the lane, stops, just puts it up. It's short. Air ball. And Harmon has it taken away. And getting a little rough under there. Anita Harless on that foul. Her first, and what do they say, Dan? The team's fifth. Team four. Four foul. Good trap here. Good trap. And and take it away, away by Hinkle. Hinkle puts it up. No good. And uh, Presley <laughs> there was wrapped up hard by Jessica Lovell. That's two on Lovell now. So three Lady Pirates uh, with uh, two fouls apiece and a seventh team foul. So for the final 316. Lady Cards will be at the line. Shot up and no good. It's Robbie Presley misses the first shot. Samantha Hackney back in the game for Nikki McCoy. It's up and Presley misses them both. Tanya Francis comes away with it. Gets it over to Lovell. Lovell at the head of the key now. Over to Francis. Ashley Rosen with the ball. She drives down the lane and shot. Now that ball was up. They're calling the blocking foul there. And just Anita Harless. I don't know how, I'll be honest with you folks. I don't know how in the world they can call that. <laughs> Harless appeared to have excellent position. Harless coming, in, coming out of the game now limping. She took a hard fall. Level. Throws it long. And this is Hackney with it. Puts it up. Nice and shot in. there. Sam Hackney off the glass. 22-17 now, Belfry leader. Harmon all the way down underneath, stops, puts it up, no good. Big battle underneath there, Hinkle with it. She puts it up. And good in. shot, nice. Joni, uh, Kelly Hinkle. Kelly Hinkle with a good adjustment there. there. Yes, it <laughs> was. 22-19 <laughs> now, Belfry leading by three. Love for the Francis. Over to Rosen, she drives. Gets it back, puts it up and in. Presley in front court now.
A long three put up and in by Johnny Castle. That makes it a two-point game again as Beffrey had crawled back out to five-point lead. 24-22 with a minute 48 to go in the first half. Level to Francis. Francis puts it up and in. Tanya Francis. Absolutely Just on fire here tonight. Half. Beautiful, beautiful shot there. Excellent touch. Excellent form on her shot. Here's a pass to Harmon. Hinkle back to Presley. Over to Harmon on the left. Presley. Rosen knocks it away and comes out of there with it. Here comes Lovell in the front court quickly. All the way down the lane, lays it up and in. 28-22 now. Belfry on top with one minute remaining here in the first half. Long pass in front court to Presley. Over the left corner, Castle. Back out to Harmon. Presley with it now to Hinkle. Kelly Hinkle drives, and she's fouled. That's going to be against Francis, I believe. Kelly Hinkle will be at the line, shooting two. She puts it up and in. Heather Witt checks back in the game as Ashley Rosen goes out. Hickman's second shot is good. Belfry <laughs> leading 28-24 now. Hackney drives. Gets it back to Lovell. We're down now to 34 seconds remaining here in this first half. Hackney fakes in the lane to Francis. She turns. This one's no good. Followed up and in. Heather Witt. Nice Heather shot. Heather Witt in the lane in heavy traffic. And it's 30-24 now with 16 seconds remaining in the first half. Harmon in the front court. Over to Presley. And to Hinkle. Underneath, Castle gets it. Puts it up and she's fouled. It's going to be three on Hackney. Put Joni Castle on the line, shooting two. So we have only five seconds remaining here in the first half. And Castle puts the first one in. Shelton Clark, an excellent free throw shooting team. I was just say, you know, they say the same thing, Ken, is they have really uh, knocked them down tonight uh, from the line. Yes, they but have. I think at halftime, Coach Harmon's going to have to work on this, uh, the defense that uh, Belfry is putting on here as they are really not getting very many good looks at a field goal. Two seconds. Francis from midcourt. It's no good. So that'll do it for the first half here from Belfry High School with the score of the Belfry Lady Pirates 30, the Sheldon Clark Lady Cardinals 26. We'll be right back with some halftime statistics. This is WPRG TV, your Intermountain Sports Network. Gearheart Broadband knows the internet is evolving taking new twists and turns as we add our input, make our choices, and follow the light that connects us all. It's quite a journey, one to experience with the fastest speeds available. Contact Gearheart Broadband and connect to the internet speed that suits your journey and enjoy the ride. I wanna talk about a subject that's a little bit hard to talk about. Some of you out there may feel like you're at the lowest point in your life. Feels like it's never gonna get better. You feel like the only option out there is to end your life. I promise, that's not the only option, and in fact, that's not an option at all. Taking your life doesn't end the pain, it gives the pain to other people. Keep your head up, I promise, things will eventually get better.
Come see the lineup of all new 2021 Harleys at Mineshaft Harley Davidson in Pikeville. More than ever, we're all living online right now. It's one more reason using online account management from Gearheart Communications just makes sense. Visit ecare.gearheart.com to sign up so you can pay your bill, review your statements, or set up worry free automatic payments, all without leaving your home. Make life a little easier. Online account management from Gearheart Broadband. Sign up today at ecare.gearheart.com. Use your smart home speaker to arm and disarm the system. A full line of cameras for both indoor and outdoor areas. So you can keep an eye on your property no matter where you are. Get an early alert for water leaks before you lose thousands of dollars to expensive flood damage. One easy to use interface for your phone and the slimline touchpad. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. The hottest device of the new year is now an Appalachian Wireless. The Samsung Galaxy S21. Till the end of February, all Samsung S21 models will be $400 off on the Advantage plan at Appalachian Wireless and AppalachianWireless.com. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. <laughs> basketball for the Belfry Pirates. The only uh, downplay there would be the foul trouble. You've got uh, one starter with three fouls and two others with two each. So uh, we'll have to see how that plays out as the game progresses. For the Sheldon Clark Lady Cardinals, a good good, good first half of basketball with 26 points. Ten of those coming from Mandy Harmon, seven from Joni Castle, six for Kelly Hinkle, two from Lauren Burt, and one point for Nikki Copeland. One of three from behind the arch, and they committed only five turnovers, but uh, uh, in comparison, only Anita Harless with two fouls would uh, uh, be uh, even remotely in trouble as they only committed five uh, team fouls in that first half. But uh, just an excellent first half of basketball. Uh, Belfry jumped out to an eight-point lead at the end of one. Uh, Sheldon Clark came back and outscored them 19-15 to in that second period to uh, trim the lead in half. And uh, I'll tell you what, it really set up to be a, uh, quite a matchup down the stretch. And this should be a very good second half. Gearheart Broadband knows the internet is evolving, taking new twists and turns as we add our input, make our choices, and follow the light that connects us all. It's quite a journey, one to experience with the fastest speeds available. Contact Gearheart Broadband and connect to the internet speed that suits your journey and enjoy the ride. When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, social security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. Fully wireless sensors mean easy installation without damage from drilling. One app gives you total control over every aspect of your home. The ultimate deterrent for porch pirates. Know exactly when you receive a delivery. You need security that is a fully integrated security solution. 
encrypted end-to-end, -end, and professionally monitored. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. Appalachian Wireless invites you to start the new year off with a bang. What better way than with a new Samsung device? The new Samsung Galaxy S21, S21 Plus, and S21 Ultra are the latest and hottest devices of the new year with great cameras, all-day battery life, and faster processors. The S21 is the phone everyone wants and will be jealous of. From now till the end of February, the new Samsung S21 models will be $400 off the Advantage plan at Appalachian Wireless and AppalachianWireless.com. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. I want to talk about a subject that's a little bit hard to talk about. Some of you out there may feel like you're at the lowest point in your life. Feels like it's never going to get better. You feel like the only option out there is to end your life. I promise. That's not the only option, and in fact, that's not an option at all. Taking your life doesn't end the pain. It gives the pain to other people. Keep your head up. I promise things will eventually get better. Danny Van Hoos and Brian Lee back with you. We're ready now for second half action from Belfry High School with Belfry leading Sheldon Clark 30 to 26. <laughs> Sheldon Clark now with the ball. And uh, my buddy Danny Van Hoos here is going to the first half. Oh, man. It's a good time at halftime here. <clears throat> Over here on the right, Presley with the ball. <laughs> This is Presley with it. Folks, you just don't know what I got to put up with. <laughs> Here's Harmon driving. And that's on the end line, but she was pushed. That is Ashley Rosen picking up her third foul. Here's Harmon in the left corner with it. Back out to Cassie. Presley with the ball there. Speaking of Presley, we got to go tomorrow night at the Chevy Valley. <laughs> and uh, Herman dribbled it on the end line there. Coach Denny Paul Mays going to get you for that one, man. <laughs> he knows what I'm talking about. Yes, he does. He didn't deny it the other night. No, he didn't. Drive there by McCoy. Nicky McCoy. Failed to get it in. Here's Harmon. Back to Presley. And then right to Cassie. Robert Cassie. This is Copeland with the ball. Nicky Copeland. Gets it to Presley. She's, gets it over to Harmon. Harmon drive. Stops. Backside. Copeland's going to take the long three. It's no good. And Rosen rebounds it. Gets it ahead quickly to Lovell. She's all the way down court. And blocking foul called on oh, Nikki Copeland. Two now against Copeland. Jessica Love shooting two. And she's an air ball. Anita Harless checks back in for Sheldon Clark. And Lauren Burke comes out. Love picks it up. And no good. It comes off to Mandy Harmon. She brings it all the way in the front court. Got to Presley. Castle, Presley. This is Harmon. In the middle, Harless fakes. Fakes it underneath, puts it up. No good. And Tanya Francis with the rebound. We played two minutes of this second half. Neither team able to get on the board. Jessica Lovell. Underneath to Rosen. She turns, puts it up. No good. Followed by Francis. No good. And rebounded by Harless. He's double team, gets it over to Presley, Robbie Presley. And Mandy Harmon now with the ball. So we played two and a half minutes in this third quarter, and neither team has scored yet. 
Presley to Harless. Nikki Copeland, she drives into the lane, puts up about a six-footer. No good, gets her own rebound. Spins, puts it up, and in. Good job there by Nikki Copeland. Hustle there by Nikki Copeland. Two-point game now. 30 to 28. Belfie looking for that first score here in the second half. Jessica Lovell with it. They leave her open. She takes about a 10 footer. No good. Uh, Tony Castle is going to be called for the foul. Samantha Hackney and Heather Witt check in for Belfry. Ashley Rosen sits down. Along with McCoy, I believe. Here's Lovell. Six feet off the left side, no good. And we've got a pushing foul underneath. Coming against Tanya Francis. Two fouls on Francis now. That's Sheldon Clark in the front court. Presley with the ball. So they have a chance to tie it up now. Or take the lead with the three. Presley fires it up from the corner. No good. And Francis with the rebound. And Francis gets it in front court to Lovell. Underneath the music. She puts it up. No good. Battle underneath. And Anita Harless comes away with it. Long pass ahead to Harmon. Harmon lays it up and in. Beautiful pass from Anita Harless. We're all tied, 4-12 to go in third <laughs> period. Anita Harless doing a good job underneath on the board. Good look that time. Great pass. She's still limping, too, from that uh, first half collision with Ashley Rosen. Here's Francis. And Harless comes out with a steal. In the front court. Pulls it up, gets Wise it back out to Presley. We're all tied up at 30 here. Harless wisely pulled up there, Ken, if she didn't have the numbers. Right. Harmon drives the baseline, all the way underneath. Goes up, and she's fouled by Francis. That's going to be three on Tanya Francis. Ashley Rosen on the bench with three. Now Tanya Francis, and this... Foul trouble could really hurt this Belfry team. The only second time out here is called by Cindy Halbert. We'll take a short break and be right back. This is your Intermountain Sports Network. Use your smart home speaker to arm and disarm the system. A full line of cameras for both indoor and outdoor areas. So you can keep an eye on your property no matter where you are. Get an early alert for water leaks before you lose thousands of dollars to expensive flood damage. One easy to use interface for your phone and the Slimline touchpad. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. More than ever, we're all living online right now. It's one more reason using online account management from Gearheart Communications just makes sense. Visit ecare.gearheart.com to sign up so you can pay your bill, review your statements, or set up worry-free automatic payments, all without leaving your home. Make life a little easier. Online account management from Gearheart Broadband. Sign up today at ecare.gearheart.com. 35 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Your score, Belfry 30 and Shelly Clark 30. And at the line, putting it up and in is Mandy Harmon. And then Shelly Clark the lead. Again, that's their first lead of the night. That's their first lead of the night. And another one by Harmon. Harmon now 6-6 six six from the line. Shelton Clark on top, 32-30. As uh, we played uh, home, we played over four and a half minutes in this quarter. Belfry's hit the score. And there's Harless with another rebound. Anita Harless played really well in this second half. Beautiful feed in there from Harless. Harless to Harmon, and it's knocked out of bounds by Nikki McCoy. Yeah. 
the corner to Harlan, underneath Harlan. She takes it to the go, strong, no good. And rebounded by Rosen. And out to Francis. Francis up court quickly, backs it out. Goes over to McCoy, Nikki McCoy now. Inside to Rosen, she spins, puts it up off the glass, no good. And Harless comes out of there with it. And they call a jump ball, and the possession arrow goes to Belfort. Anita Harless playing really aggressive here. She got, she got bruised up in that first half, and she's came out here really strong in the second half. There's a long three put up, and no good by McCoy. In the corner, Francis tries to save it, but she's on the line. 236 remaining in the third quarter, and Belfry has not scored in this second half. Robbie Presley throws it to Harmon in front court. Colton with it now. Harmon backs it out. Colton drives the baseline. It's Harless in the lane, and she moves her feet to off the track. Lovell checks back in as Amanda Music will head to the bench. Music been held in, she's been held in check here, Ken, only has two points. Not a typical night for Amanda Music. She's one of the premier players in the 15th region and only a freshman. Only a freshman. Rosen in the corner with it. Starts to fire it up. Decides to drive. Spins, puts it up. No good. And Presley with the rebound. Harmon back out to Presley now. 140 to go here in the third quarter. Harless. She's taking it to the goal. Back out to Copeland. She fires a three. Nikki Copeland with a big three-pointer giving Selma Clark a five-point lead now, 35-30. As they have outscored Belfry, nine to nothing in this second half. Lovell down the lane, throws it up, and in. in. Shot. Nice shot by Jessica Lovell. Presley bringing it up. A lot of hand checking there by Lovell. Yes. Got Coach Robin Newsom off the bench. He's got a foul on the Belfry Pirates. So Nikki McCoy. That's two on Nikki. Actually, Rosen ready to inbound the ball for the. Well, I was Belfry looking for Pirates. 11 on uh, Sheldon Clark. I thought we'd written it down wrong, but. Foul was against Rosen. Just going to get a hand and throw the ball in for him. <laughs> Comes into Harmon. Harmon fakes the three. Gets it back out to Castle. She fires up a long three shot. That must have been a 23 footer there from Johnny Castle. He certainly Great from downtown. Shot. It's a six point lead now for Sheldon Clark. Here from the free throw line level. No good. Rebounded by McCoy, it's up no good, and Harless will be called for over the back. And she reached over the back of Samantha Hackney. Looks like she had all ball, Ken. Yeah, it did. Three fouls now, I guess. Harless, and that will send her to the bench in favor of Lauren Burke, who checks back in. Anita Harless has played really well this third quarter. Limping off the floor as uh, Link probably bruised up pretty bad. Took a hard ball there in the first half. Level. Back to me, back to Level. Level drives into the lane. Gets it over to Francis and she puts it up and in. Ten seconds now remaining here in the third quarter. Kevin Clark leading 38-34. Here's Harmon all the way. Lays it up and in. 
Andy Harmon left all along there. That a great layup. So at the end of three quarters, we score. Sheldon Clark, 40. The Belfort Pirates, 34. We'll be right back with fourth quarter action. This is WPRG TV. You're home for Intermountain Sports. Appalachian Wireless invites you to start the new year off with a bang. What better way than with a new Samsung device? The new Samsung Galaxy S21, S21 Plus, and S21 Ultra are the latest and hottest devices of the new year with great cameras, all-day battery life, and faster processors. The S21 is the phone everyone wants and will be jealous of. From now till the end of February, the new Samsung S21 models will be $400 off the Advantage plan at Appalachian Wireless and AppalachianWireless.com. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, Social Security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you back with you at Belfry High School where the Sheldon Clark Lady Cardinals are leading the Belfry Pirates 40 to 34 as uh, Sheldon Clark outscored Belfry 14 to 4 in that third quarter. It's going to be three against Lovell. <laughs> Jessica Lovell, uh, Ashley Rosen, and Tanya Francis each with three fouls for the Belfry Pirates. Also, uh, Samantha Hackney. <laughs> Four starters now with uh, in the press house. Presley gets it over to Harmon. She's guarded by Francis. In the corner, I can't see why that's uh, Castle with the ball. She gets it back out to Presley and away from the ball. There's some holding and pushing going on. Looks like Amanda Music will be called for the foul. That's music's first foul. 16 fouls now, so for the final 7.42, uh, Shuttle Clark will be in the bonus. Copeland over to Harmon. That's music on Harmony. No, that's what was the call there, traveling? Yeah, they said she shuffled her feet, but I... She was down there trying to go against uh, two lady pirates and just uh, ran out of room, Ken. Long three there from Samantha Hackney. Here's Copeland in front court. On the baseline, takes it to the goal, strong. Puts it up, no good. Picks it up, no good. And music out of there with it. Lovell in the front court. Sure, who the foul is on? That's on uh, Nikki Copeland. It's her third. Four team fouls now for Sheldon Clark. Jessica Lovell. She drives. Double team. And down the lane and off the glass. Samantha Hackney. Beautiful drive. Herman over to Copeland in front court. She goes to Castle. And Copeland not looking. Copeland not looking and Presley throws it out of bounds. Nine turnovers now for the Lady Cards. As Anita Harless and Kelly Hickel will check back in. We've got a uh, timeout here, and uh, Sheldon Clark leading 40 to 36 with 6:38 remaining in the game. We'll take a short break and be right back. This is your Intermountain Sports Network. Fully wireless sensors mean easy installation without damage from drilling. One app gives you total control over every aspect of your home. The ultimate deterrent for porch pirates. Know exactly when you receive a delivery. 
You need security that is a fully integrated security solution, encrypted end-to-end -end and professionally monitored. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. Come see the lineup of all new 2021 Harleys at Mineshaft Harley Davidson in Pikeville. Six and 38 seconds remaining in, in this game with Sheldon Clark leading 40 to 36. As they came out in this third quarter and outscored the host Belfry Pirates 14 to 4. Lovell's wide open from about six feet off the left side. She missed well, it. Well short. Rosen had the ball, but taken away by Harless. She gets it up. To Harmon, Mandy Harmon. Harmon over to Castleback. The Harmon. Beautiful, beautiful drive. drive. <laughs> uh, I don't understand that. I mean, she caught the ball and put it up immediately, but called from steps. It's the tenth turnover for the Lady Cards. Here's Lovell with it down the right side. He drives, puts it up from six feet, and got it. Belfry scratching right back in this one, Ken. We're down to two-point lead now. And knocked out of bounds. The ball will go over to the Belfry Pirates. And a 20-second timeout now by Cindy Halbert. We'll keep it right here. You know, Ken, the difference in this game uh, was, was defense. Whenever uh, in the first half, it was Belfry applying a ton of pressure in the first period. Held, uh, they held uh, Sheldon Clark to only seven points in that first quarter. But uh, the third quarter was the opposite. Uh, Sheldon Clark really stepped up third uh, game defensively and held Belfry to only four. So that's, that's, uh, that's the story of this game right now. Two evenly matched teams here. Extremely impressed with the with the uh, scoring ability of uh, Mandy Harmon and the and the hustle of Anita Harless for the Lady Cards, and the uh, presence on the floor of Tanya Francis for the Lady Pirates. Really, uh, some excellent ball players here. Jessica Lovell drives, backs it out. She goes. Round, puts it up, no good. And coming out of there with it is Harmon. She finds an open Castle. Castle puts it in. Nice fade from Harmon. It's now 42-38, Sheldon Clark on top. Harmon showing a lot of uh, presence there to look up the floor. Hackney with it. It's knocked away by Presley. Hackney over to Lovell now. over to Hackney. Rosen with it now. Here comes music around, but underneath Lovell's open momentarily. Shot blocked by Kelly Hickle, but there's a foul call. Kelly Hickle picked up the foul. Put Jessica Lovell on the line. She's only one of four so far tonight from the line, and her last two shots well short. And she rolls it in. Four fifty-six remaining in the game. The second shot is up and no good. Rebounded by Harless again. Music on her and knocked away by Lover. Sheldon Clark holding on to the lead here, 42-39. With four fifty remaining in the game. Hinkle to inbound it, throws it long to Harmon. He brings it into front court, pulls it back out. Over the corner to Castle. Johnny Castle back to Harmon as she drives, stops, puts it up, no good. And Amanda Music with the rebound. She kicks it off to Love on. It's knocked away by Hinkle, picked up by Castle. Harmon is wide open, puts it up, no good. 
and Mandy Harmon will be called for the foul. That's 16 fouls now on the Sheldon Clark Lady Cardinals, so uh, Bethany will be in the bonus from this point on. Sheldon Clark already in the bonus. Lovell in front court. Over to Francis. Music at the free throw line. Over to Hackney. Hackney drives the baseline. And the ball's knocked away by Presley and the foul call. Well, that foul against number 21, but Sheldon Clark doesn't have the 21. I believe that was against Robbie Pre or uh, yeah, Robbie Presley. Yeah, number 12. And Hackney hits the first one. Second shot up, in and out. And Harless comes out with it. Gets it over to Castle. Yeah, Harless has really played a nice game tonight. Yes, he has. Presley to Harmon. Underneath the Harless. Harmon open moment, a nice fake, puts it up. Bounces all over the goal, comes off music with a big rebound out to Hackney. She drives, cut off by Castle, puts it up, no good. Good job of Joni Castle causing her to alter her shot, Ken. Excellent job by Castle, getting back. Presley in front court now, 3.30 remaining in the ball game. Sheldon Clark, 42, Belfry, 40. It's underneath the Harless. She takes it to the goal, puts it up. And in. Good shot by Anita Harless. Her first two of the night. Over a much taller Amanda Music. Put it up and in. He's level with it now. Music. Oh, Francis loses it momentarily. Gets it back. She loses control and she'll be called for steps. Tanya Francis. Sheldon Clark really stepping up the defense here, Ken. They have done a great job on defense here in this second half. Long pass ahead to Harmon. Over to Presley. Now Castle. Backs it out to Presley. 44-40. Sheldon Clark waiting as we go under the three-minute mark now. Back to Harmon. Tries to go underneath the Harless. It's knocked away, but Hinkle there to get it. Kelly Hinkle. Gets it back to Robbie Presley. And thrown away. Ashley Rosen comes away with it. Up to Hinkle or to uh, Hackney. And it's knocked away by Mandy Harmon. And the foul call. going to put Sam Hackney at the line, shooting one of the bonus. It's up and good. As Hackney can cut this lead to two with this next free throw. 2.35 to go in the game. It's been quite a game, Ken. Yes, it has. This one comes off. Big battle underneath. And, and Harless comes away with it. Anita Harless. She is a beautiful pass really up court nice to Castle. Job. She puts up a shot against two defenders. It's no good. Big scramble music gets it over to Hackney. Players all over the floor. And Hackney put up an end by Hackney. As it's a one-point game now, 44-43. And we've got a timeout called here by the Sheldon Clark Lady Cardinals. 2.13 remaining in the ball game. So with this break of the action, we'll be right back. This is your Intermountain Sports Network. I want to talk about a subject that's a little bit hard to talk about. Some of you out there may feel like you're at the lowest point in your life. Feels like it's never going to get better. You feel like the only option out there is to end your life. I promise. That's not the only option, and in fact, that's not an option at all. Taking your life doesn't end the pain. It gives the pain to other people. 
keep your head up. I promise things will eventually get better. More than ever, we're all living online right now. It's one more reason using online account management from Gearheart Communications just makes sense. Visit ecare.gearheart.com to sign up so you can pay your bill, review your statements, or set up worry-free automatic payments, all without leaving your home. Make life a little easier. Online account management from Gearheart Broadband. Sign up today at ecare.gearheart.com. Belfry High School, where we have two minutes and 13 seconds remaining in this ball game, and Sheldon Clark leading 44-43 over the homestanding Belfry Pirates. Quite a ball game here. Hinkle gets it in the front court to Castle. She gets it back to Presley. Over to Harmon on the left side. Two minutes exactly remaining in the game now. Coach Newsom was really upset with her troops there, Ken, as uh, I heard her, or could watch her say to them that uh, they were beating themselves. Uh, I think she was a little upset with shot selection in that last trip down. Presley with it. Goes over to Harmon. Harless with it. Over to Presley. In the corner, Castle. Back to Presley. We're down that on minute 25. Underneath the handle. Back to Castle. Presley with it. Over to Harmon. Excellent ball movement here by Sheldon Clark. And they will call another timeout as they run exactly one minute off the clock. Not sure if this is a full or it a will be a full. Full timeout. So with uh, this break in the action, we'll, we'll be right back. Your score, Sheldon Clark, 44, Belfry, 43. This is the Inner Mountain Sports Network. Use your smart home speaker to arm and disarm the system. A full line of cameras for both indoor and outdoor areas. So you can keep an eye on your property no matter where you are. Get an early alert for water leaks before you lose thousands of dollars to expensive flood damage. One easy to use interface for your phone and the slimline touchpad. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. The hottest device of the new year is now at Appalachian Wireless. The Samsung Galaxy S21. Till the end of February, all Samsung S21 models will be $400 off on the Advantage plan at Appalachian Wireless and AppalachianWireless.com. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Time out. 47 
This has really been a battle for and this as we had said. Uh, Bethany Pirates, uh, Lady Pirates jumped out to, a, to an eight-point lead at uh, the end of one. Sheldon Clark able to cut that to four at the half and then uh, take a six-point lead uh, into this fourth quarter. And it's been all it was built to be. And uh, in the Mountain Sports top five, Bethany sits at top. And Sheldon Clark in the three spot. So uh, these two teams, they're not disappointing and they're showing why they deserve to be there. Yes, they are. Excellent basketball team. Two good coach teams, too. You notice down the stretch, they're doing the right things. And, uh, uh, that's just a sign of being prepared. Yep, and they inbound under their own goal. Shot and needs to watch here for a uh, quick layup on a, after the break. Jessica Lovett is going to the ball for the Lady Pirates. She just got to lose it. She's going to turn it back to Lovett. Lovett could have had her key now. 38 seconds remaining. Lovett dies. And excellent possession out of the Harley. Unbelievable call. That was the worst call in the history of the Tigers. That girl was in the best position I've ever seen to take a charging foul. And they call blocking on her. I mean, she was in that position in two seconds before the uh, before Lava got, got to her. Well, you hate to see a, a you know, if Memphis goes on to win this game, uh, you know, you really hate to see it tainted this way, King. You ought to let the girls, let the girls, let them decide who's the best team out there tonight, you know, and the people in the striped shirt need to keep their mouth shut. We've got a tennis out on the team out there. We're going to have to take a short break there. This is the Hunter Mountain Sports Network. Fully wireless sensors mean easy installation without damage from drilling. One app gives you total control over every aspect of your home. The ultimate deterrent for porch pirates. Know exactly when you receive a delivery. You need security that is a fully integrated security solution, encrypted end-to-end -end and professionally monitored. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. Sheldon Clark with the ball, it's in to Mandy Harmon. 
When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, social security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. Come see the lineup of all new 2021 Harleys at Mineshaft Harley Davidson in Pikeville. One second remaining on the clock. Belfry with the ball, trailing by one point. Ashley Rosen to inbound the ball. She throws it long, and that's, that'll do it. As that's your ball game from Belfry High School. With your score, the Sheldon Clark Lady Cardinals 46, the Belfry Lady Pirates 45. What a ball game we had here tonight. We'll take a short break and be right back with a wrap-up. This is WPRG-TV, your Intermountain Sports Network. Give us just Use your smart home speaker to arm and disarm the system. A full line of cameras for both indoor and outdoor areas so you can keep an eye on your property no matter where you are. Get an early alert for water leaks before you lose thousands of dollars to expensive flood damage. One easy to use interface for your phone and the slimline touchpad. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. Appalachian Wireless invites you to start the new year off with a bang. What better way than with a new Samsung device? The new Samsung Galaxy S21, S21 Plus, and S21 Ultra are the latest and hottest devices of the new year with great cameras, all-day battery life, and faster processors. The S21 is the phone everyone wants and will be jealous of. From now till the end of February, the new Samsung S21 models will be $400 off the Advantage plan at Appalachian Wireless and AppalachianWireless.com. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. More than ever, we're all living online right now. It's one more reason using online account management from Gearheart Communications just makes sense. Visit ecare.gearheart.com to sign up so you can pay your bill, review your statements, or set up worry-free automatic payments, all without leaving your home. Make life a little easier. Online account management from Gearheart Broadband. Sign up today at ecare.gearheart.com. Back here at Belfry High School, where the Sheldon Clark Lady Cardinals have just upset the, the Belfry Pirates, uh, 46 to 45, in a very exciting ball game. As uh, superstar sophomore Mandy Harmon scored the missed a shot at the end of the game and followed it up, made the bucket with one second remaining to uh, give Sheldon Clark the win, and uh, we'll let, let Danny give us some numbers. Now. Just a huge road win here for these uh, Lady Cards, led in scoring, as you said, Ken. Mandy Harmon, she had 18 points, 12 points for Joni Castle, six points for Kelly Hinkle and Nikki Copeland, two points each for Lauren Burke and Anita Harless. But I tell you what, that two points says nothing, means, says absolutely nothing to the game that she played here tonight. As she led them in rebounding and just played a phenomenal uh, game here. Great defense, great three out of, by Anita Harless. Three out of six from behind the arch. They committed 12 turnovers. They improved to 11 and six on the season. And I tell you what, as far as my vote goes, Ken, I tell you, they are a team to be reckoned with in the 15th region. Yes, they definitely are. Belfry Pirates slipped to 11 and five. They were one of six from behind the arch, committed only six turnovers. They were led in scoring by Tanya Francis with 13, 10 points each for Samantha Hackney and Jessica Lovell. Six points for Ashley Rosen. 
Two points each for Nikki McCoy, Heather Witt, and Romanda Music. And that'll wrap that up. 46-45, just a fantastic basketball game. You won't find any better basketball than uh, than, than this right here, Ken. It yes, had drama at the end of the sure. game and, and just a lot of ups and downs, and uh, both teams played fantastic. They sure did. Great effort by both teams tonight. So thank you for being with us once again. We appreciate you You've being with us all season long on your Intermountain Sports Network for all this great 15th region high school basketball. And uh, stay tuned this week for lots of exciting action. For Brian Lee, Danny Van Hoos, this is Ken Hall saying thank you and good night.